The 40 experts uh, coming from 16 European think tanks which have been involved in this project and which have confronted their assessment on the evolution of the EU's external action uh, and have addressed recommendations to the European leaders have focused on five main challenges. Uh, the um, promotion of uh, EU economic interest abroad, the um, a sustainable and strategic management of natural resources, how to cope with the demographic challenge of the EU and develop a, a comprehensive migration strategy, how to develop a more innovative neighbourhood policy in order to increase the EU's influence in the neighbourhood, and finally, how to preserve the EU's credibility with lower uh, defence uh, budgets, with decreasing defence budgets. On the first issue, concerning the economic interest, the, 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 the first focus of the experts was how to, um, how to cope with the fragmentation of the economic EU governance, as well internally as on the international scene. Currently, the member states are developing a uh, trade diplomacy in order to, to, to balance the lower internal demand, but in the longer term it may not be sufficient to increase the economic competitiveness of the EU. So a first, a first priority is to complete the, the internal market of the, of the EU, and more specifically in the service sector. But at the same time, um, the, the Europeans need to first to, um, uh, to, de to develop a more uh, coordinated uh, strategy abroad and coordinated approach. Beyond the access to external markets, they also need to have a more coordinated, uh, to make the EU's voice here more clearly in, my, in global microeconomic and financial debates. So a specific recommendation concerned the creation of a single representation for the Eurozone in the IMF or extending the newly established supervisory authorities as a sort of platform to represent uh, broadly the, the, um, the, 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 uh, the interest of the member states in all the global financial uh, debates. Doing so, we, the Europeans also need to engage more actively with um, global players. Uh, it is, of course, the United States. Uh, they have very close links with the United States, and they uh, they need to. Uh, they have a specific challenge um, in the um, with the idea to develop a, um, a level playing field for Western norms, which would be a very important leverage for the, for the, the, uh, the European economy. So, of course, the experts are, um, are defending the idea to, to launch, I mean, they were defending, because the report was published in May, defending the idea to launch a negotiation over um, tra the transatlantic um, trade agreement, which is now launched and uh, under negotiation. And uh, so other, other recommendations are, um, are also uh, developed for the EU and, and US relations. Uh, the case of EU and China relation is also, is also analyzed in the report. And the main issue concerning China is to find the right balance between being more assertive on certain issues and at the same time creating more uh, confidence, mutual confidence. So on one side, for example, there's one recommendation, which is would be to um, to, intro, to to call for more transparency in the Chinese purchase of sovereign bonds in the different member states, and at the same time trying to develop so some common projects, I mean some new projects on on specific areas of uh, mute, which would which would uh, could open to mutual benefits. Um, if, we, if we go to the second question concerning natural resources, it may be the field in which Europeans uh, have more to start by acting at home. They have lost, with the, with the economic crisis, they have lost leverage on the, on the, um, on the international scene to promote uh, the, the greening transition of economies. And they, um, and they may need to, to, to start by 
uh, acting at home and showing the benefits of the, the green uh, the transition, the green transition of the European economies. Uh, so it would mean on, on one side, for example, to um, preserve the, uh, the, the, the emission trading system from its relevance, and, um, and at the same time promoting, developing the external dimensions of some policies, uh, specifically concerning energy, trying to develop more not unilateral policies and uh, trades with um, third countries, but trying to develop some more coordinated uh, negotiations. And uh, it, it, it is the case in energy, of course, but it also can be developed in, with, um, in, with raw materials, trying to develop the external markets for raw materials. So we, we're having many, many uh, recommendations on those issues. Concerning the third issue, which is the demographic challenge of the EU, um, we're currently facing a situation where we have uh, a lot of uh, unemployment, increasing unemployment, specifically in some member states, of thousand member states of the EU, and uh, we have increasing discourse and uh, xenophobic discourse, which uh, which uh, which show um, uh, difficult receptiveness of the public opinions on the migration migration issues. But at the same time, we perfectly know that in the long term, the member states will be will be confronted to some shortage of some of labor force in some specific sectors and the EU needs to develop a more long-term strategy, a more comprehensive strategy for its migration issue. Um, so the experts here are promoting, uh, defending the idea that the EU should move beyond the security driven approach which is currently developed in the European Commission and trying to, to develop a more comprehensive strategy that will help and contribute to, um, uh, contribute to, and to, to, uh, to enable the EU to enter in the race for, uh, in the race for high skilled migrants by developing and increasing the attractiveness of the internal market, internal labor, labor force markets. Different recommendations are Detailing, giving details and addressing that issue. Um, they, they, uh, then we have the, the fourth issue, which is a neighborhood, uh, the neighborhood policy of the EU. The EU is currently faced with increasing competitions of um, external influences. It may be illiberal, illiberal values. It may be, uh, it is also the case of um, uh, the uh, new new markets which have been created, like the Euro Asian um, Custom Union signed by the by Russia with some some neighbors, and uh, there the EU is facing two specific problems, which is first the the lower leverage uh, and receptiveness of its uh, conditionality policies in the neighborhood uh, countries and also the discrepancy between the slow pace of the institutional EU process and the very urgent demands of the civil societies of the, of the neighbours uh, that links to specific proposals and, um, and it also it won't be, it can be alone uh, uh, in the management of its neighbourhood so it has to engage more specifically and more strongly with some other regional actors, namely Turkey, Russia, and some even further uh, countries like uh, like China, uh, which can have a specific role to play in the, and have a specific role to play in the neighborhood. Um, then we come to the fifth uh, fifth issue, which is the defense issue, and uh, the, the interesting element is that it is now put in the agenda of the December 2013. European Council. Uh, the chief of states and government will have a debate on the defence issue. The problems that we face is that we have a, a risk of um, uh, increasing capability gaps with the decrease of national defence budget. Uh, security and defence policy is not conceived to, uh, to, to enter into the competition uh, to, to develop a more military force to enter into more international competition 
But Europeans should also be prepared not to face only small uh, peacekeeping operation needs. In between the two, there's a wide range of, um, of uh, engagement to, uh, from the um, se uh, securitizing the uh, maritime routes uh, to some new humanitarian important crisis and uh, the, the authors are, ask, are calling for defense review which would allow the chief of states and governments to, uh, to clarify the priorities um, in the, for the European defense, priorities what are the threats for the U uh, European security and, uh, and what sort of operation they, would, they should need to, pre to be prepared for. And, um, and of course, address the question of uh, addressing the question of uh, uh, of means capabilities. They call to go, to move beyond the pulling and sharing in current initiatives, and to to develop some more um, to go uh, to 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 look for more integration in uh, in European capabilities, which would also mean uh, addressing the issue of uh, procurements. And um, which would um, which would help to support the European defence industry. Uh, all those all those proposals, uh, which I've very quickly uh, sketched, are paving the way for a more positive agenda for the European external action in the year to come.